Hello, can you all hear me? I yes, I just want to know, am I audible? Yes, we are. Praise God. Okay, let's start. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this beautiful opportunity. We are gathered here, not by chance, but by choice. No matter what we see, Lord, we know that your word is there, guiding us, protecting us, Lord. And as I speak, Holy Spirit, take complete authority of my mind and my vocal cords. Let every word that I speak be of yours, and nothing of mine, Lord. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Okay. So, can somebody, uh, you know, just do the revision of what we learned yesterday? We were talking on fear, right? Praise God. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Sian, can you can you just uh, summarize what we learned in, about fear today in yesterday's class before we begin? Praise God. Um. Yep. So okay, yesterday, can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear, praise God. Yep, so yesterday we learned about fear and that it is an evil spirit uh, that uh, comes again and again uh, because it is a spirit, uh, not an emotion because emotions are short-lasting. And then we talked about, I think it was in 2 Timothy um yeah one and Isaiah. Yes. Two Timothy one seven. You're right, Sian. Go on. Praise God. Uh yeah, and then we talked about Isaiah. I can't remember much, but yeah. I think that was it. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Sian, for wonderfully revising what we learned today. Praise God. That's all right. Um, can this can uh, is there an option? Wait, I'll just play the host. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, Candice, you can start sharing your, your screen. Praise God. Uh, can you go to 2 Timothy 1 7? Candice? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Two Timothy one seven. Praise God. Okay. So Eden, can you read this? Okay, okay, read. Eden can't read, no worries. Mildred, can you read it? Yes, yes, yeah. One. Go ahead. Praise God. For the Spirit of God, 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, right? Okay. Hello? 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, right? 1 verse 7, 1 verse 7. For the Spirit of God, gave us does not make us timid but gives us power love and self-discipline praise god praise god so yesterday we were learning that god has not given us the spirit of fear but of power love and of a sound mind praise god so if fear did not come from god then where did it come from just a minute. Yes, my question was, if fear did not come from God, 
then where did it come from can anyone answer from the devil sorry can you please repeat fear came from devil yes the satan exactly right ashley fear came from the devil it came from the kingdom of darkness right now now why do you think fear you know uh, why do you think the devil wants to put fear in us why do you so think that, the devil uh, is uh, relationship yeah. with uh, god he may like you know come in between and uh, you know draws away from god yes exactly the fear is okay thank you jesus so the devil cannot attack us he has no power to attack us but he can only make us weak by making us believe his lies and just like the many lies that he tells us in different areas of our life fear is another lie it's another weapon of the enemy to deceive us are you getting it praise god 100% praise the lord because i'll give you the full form of fear fear is false evidence appearing real write it down if you want to write it down praise god fear is false evidence appearing real okay now i'll give you an example thank you jesus through my own experience okay this is before i was in the word of god or priya can you repeat uh, the definition yes yes praise god fear is false evidence uh, appearing real false evidence appearing real can someone please put it on the chat thank you jesus thanks mom for putting it okay so i'll give an example of this how this fear you know used to attack me thank you jesus last um, you know before the lockdown i used to um, get allergies okay uh, i used to have this food allergies and like randomly something i would eat some combinations and you know i would start getting all rashes all over my body for an hour or a day or so and that used to make me very worried so every time i would go to you know different places i would be very careful okay i can't eat this i can't eat that i can't eat this i can't eat that that kind of a thing and this went on going on and i tried a lot of medicines uh, i tried allopathy i tried ayurvedic medicines everything okay this was before i came into the word of god now when i started coming into the word of god and for the first time in my life i learned about what fear is okay i realized that okay this is the lie of the enemy correct praise god so so um when I, after i came into the word of god and i ate something okay uh, some cake or something and immediately the itching sensation started for me and at that point of time i had a choice to get into complete fear or i had a choice to attack that lie that the enemy was using against me with the word of god what used to happen before would be that whenever the onset of the allergy with itching and everything would start i would get into fear i would get into total panic i would start uh, you know and that's exactly what would happen and without me realizing you know my body would be covered with rashes and exactly those same things happens so it first started in the mind okay i know these are the symptoms coming again and again it's you know and i'm meditating and i'm speaking that i'm i'm saying okay yeah it, this is what is exactly happening i'm getting scared but this time i realized because it's the lie of the devil what did i say i did not open my mouth and say okay this is starting i'm scared i was not at all in fear i said this is the lie of the devil so all i did was i went to the bathroom i left water and i said lord jesus this is not water this is your precious blood by faith which i believe and as i'm pouring it on my body i know that by your wounds and stripes i'm healed and this spirit of allergy i rebuke you in the name of jesus you have no power in my life 
get out of my body right now and at that point my body was yet itching there was no rashes okay it was itching the symptoms were speaking to me but i was battling with that symptom that allergy in jesus's name and within half an hour i got set free from that praise god amen so amen so what did Thank you me. learn from today's testimony Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It's a basically. Uh, I think uh, we, as you rightly said, Priya, no, as you rightly said, that we are all in a bondage. Uh, so, can you hear me? Yes, Uncle. Loud and clear. Praise God. I'm listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are all in a bondage, actually, and uh, it is your faith, actually, which healed you. You know that is. I think that is the. Uh, uh the bottom line no your faith and today also i was just meditating on certain scriptures you know today happens to be my dad's uh, death anniversary almost 35 years and he inspired me with uh, three which you are just speaking to timothy uh, 17 which says fear is an evil spirit the second one is uh, to corinthians 10:4 which Yes, Strong Ashley. Words. Can you? Um, I mean, yes, Candice. Can you please put that scripture, Uncle? Can you repeat that scripture? Two Corinthians. Two, two Corinthians, ten uh, four, ten four. Yes. 10-4. Okay. Ah, uh, the about the strongholds, na? Ah, uh, that strongholds. Yeah, okay. Strongholds. God will break all the strongholds and He will give you new ones. And the third one is which uh, is amazing. John one John four eighteen. It says that. God's love is so abundant that He will set you free from all the fears. You know, I mean, these are three scriptures, which is amazing. And uh, I, you know, I just wanted to say, uh, 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 what do you call it? Testify to the group today. And you are, and then I'm hearing, you know, I came driving. I'm driving on a highway with so much of traffic, and you know, I'm just hearing your uh, testimony, uh, Priya. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. Thank you for sharing that. Okay. praise god praise so what i want yeah. thank you uncle rupert for sharing this lovely thing so what i wanted to say from this testimony is that now you know the devil faith what is the definition of faith i want somebody to answer praise god faith is believing when you cannot see am i right absolutely absolutely so there's no evidence and what is the only evidence is the written word of god the promise of god am i right 100% but see how the devil is a liar he has to make us believe his lie that is why he is he you know he tries to give us false evidence and that false evidence is fear don't you think uh, can Do you, you repeat your uh, definition of fear priya because i was yes. driving can you repeat fear your okay. definition of fear okay i'll repeat it i'll repeat it again fear is false evidence appearing real uh, false, false evidence, evidence of hearing false evidence appearing real it looks no, like no, it I is real hear. but I it is not real uh, no no uh, the line is breaking uh, uh, false evidence of false evidence appearing real of hearing real appearing appearing okay khalas okay 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 so now the devil has to make us believe his lie so he'll show you one symptom like in all of our lives i'm sure all of us relate to this like when he used to use that allergy that itching and everything and when i was to get into fear that is exactly where he could start attacking me and get me mentally weak so what i'm trying to say is that we cannot fight our thoughts with thoughts but with the word of god right so the word of god is like that weapon which goes and battles with the lies of the devil so we don't have to get rid of the strongholds which uncle rightly said but it is the word of god which gets us free from it praise god okay. thank you jesus uh thank you sister treza for putting this on the group it's it's really helping a lot of people the definitions of chat and everything praise god <laughs> okay so in any area of your life be it an exam be it a situation 
where you are you know you don't know what to do and how to go about it and when you see something like the devil will try to show you a lot of things always remember this one prayer that i said okay i'll tell you it's in the white book but most of you would be not having the white books so i'll dictate it to you you can write it down the spirit of truth abides in me the spirit of truth abides in me and guides me in all my ways the spirit of truth abides in me and guides me in all my ways therefore i confess i have perfect knowledge of every situation and circumstance that i come up against the spirit of truth abides in me and guides me in all my ways therefore i confess i have perfect knowledge of every situation and circumstance that i come up against praise god okay has someone put on on the chat i kept praise god thank you sister for putting it on the uh, chat so the spirit of truth abides in me and guides me in all my ways therefore i confess i have perfect knowledge of every situation and circumstance that i come up against so this helped me even during my exams when um, you know my question paper seemed very difficult and everything in my senses told me you should get scared you should get worried you should get upset and you should start crying and give up that is the time i kept on opening my mouth and saying no because the spirit of truth abides in me it guides me in all my ways therefore i have perfect knowledge of every situation and circumstance that i come up against so now how to get this perfect knowledge praise god how to get this perfect knowledge you need to pray in tongues now praise god thank you jesus praying in tongues is like you're praying to god where the holy spirit is using your vocal cords to intercede to god talk to god on your behalf because many a times we because we are human beings and we are weak we do not know what we should pray for how should we pray so therefore the holy spirit intercedes on our behalf and you know edifies us spiritually and you know prepares us for the obstacles that the devil is bringing in our paths that because we are believers praise god don't you agree can i add one more scripture in this uh, uh, priya yes uncle please yes one, uncle e- one ecclesiastic is 2 uh, one ecclesiastic is 2 you can put it on the screen if you can but i will tell you what it is yeah it says yeah, uh, yeah one ecclesiastic is 2 uh, uh, verse 2 says that vanity vanity everything is vanity okay what it means is basically uh it's a feeling as you said no how the devil devil is full of lies na like yes. he keeps yeah he keep fooling you what is the meaning of vanity vanity means everything is you know so false it may it looks so real but it is so vain we say yes it's yes. Yeah, you know it's so false you know i mean there is no depth uh, in that that is exactly the evil one and the wisdom of god will make us overcome and uh, uh, see through all this huh? so this is uh, this is i think a scripture which is very appropriate at this point yeah and uh, what you say i just endorse uh, priya 110% you have experienced this at, at your age i have experienced it in my age and i must really say the panel must be really so blessed to have such a beautiful uh, sharing uh, priya it is it is the core of uh, today's living absolutely core of today's living priya yeah so uh, praise please, god please, please, praise, praise god, god. So um can I yeah. say something uh, I want to okay uh, okay ashley yeah it's fine priya you can go and if it's late it's fine okay kindly bear with me see i i understand you know you all want to share and everything but currently mm-hmm. this one week i am out so i have other timings like i have to rush for dinner because there are timings in this hostel that is why i am you know i'm also in a uh, you know in in kind of a hurry and everything so kindly bear for me with me for this week thank you jesus 
praise God. So yeah. So where were we? We were talking about praying in tongues, correct? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So every believer, I don't know how many of y'all have this gift, but when I, I'll definitely try to take a teaching on the gift of tongues and we will activate it for those who are yet to learn, who want to know about this gift of tongues. I'm more than happy to organize a class on that. Praise God. But I encourage those of you who have this gift, if you pray in tongues for minimum one hour, your life is never going to be natural. You are going to be supernatural. Maybe right now you might be a person saying that I'm very shy. I'm very insecure. I, I, don't ha I have fear of so many things. But if you start praying in tongues for one hour every day, I guarantee you this fear will just go and suddenly you will start experiencing boldness in your life. I have experienced it. That is why I'm saying it to you. Amen. Like It need not be continuous, but as and when you can, as much as possible, I encourage you all to use this gift of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so um, I'll wind up for today. Thank you all for this lovely session. And uh, I will ask, uh, who's this? Um, okay, Aunt, praise Can God. Can I uh, do the ending prayer? Okay, Ashley, go on. Yeah, this is my first time. And I want to have a chance. So that's why I asked if I could. Is it okay? Yes, Ashley, go on. Praise God. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba Father, for this wonderful, blessed day and beautiful session. Blessed session. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us, for being a counselor, for being a companion and for making us understand about God's love, for teaching us in, in this session and for making it very easy for us to understand. I bless all the participants on Zoom and on YouTube who are listening to these teachings, that they may go and, and uh, preach the good news to all that you are the one and living God. I bless each and everybody and I especially pray for this whole world. I bless this whole world. This whole world is in your hands, not in Satan's hands. And I completely bind all that worldly attractions in each and everybody's life, including us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.